Hey everyone, it's Michael here from goodyreader.com and today we're going to learn about a new color e-reader that Pocketbook is producing and it's going to be coming out very soon. It's going to be using e-ink Kaleido 2, which is color e-paper. What this brings to the table is very exciting for people who like reading digital comics, manga, magazines, newspapers, graphic novels, and all sorts of other content. There'll be better grayscale uniformity, better color accuracy. This means that all the aforementioned content will look really good on larger screen devices. To learn more about the new Pocketbook e-reader, both Pocketbook and e-ink are gonna answer some questions and tell us all about it. Many thanks for that question. Of course, we have always believed that color displays and e-readers will revolutionize the market. And so we have also been keeping a very close eye on e-ink to see the technical developments that are being made in that field. Way back in 2012, we launched the first device with the color display, the Pocketbook Color Lux, and detected that there was still room for improvement in this technology. So we kept a close eye on what was going on with e-ink, as I said, and now, of course, we have the option with the new Kaleido technology. The displays are available there in appropriate quality, with the appropriate contrast, with good saturation, and that is, of course, a lot of fun for the customers. We already brought the Pocketbook Color to the market five months ago, a six-inch device with a color screen, which accordingly includes the Kaleido technology of e-ink. We announced this product in April of last year, and customers were really enthusiastic about it. Of course, there was a lot of customer demand for the device, and it was already clear by that point that they wanted us to develop larger displays. Various reviews, including, for example, that great review score we were awarded again last year in Computer Build, of course show that we are once again meeting our high quality standards and living up to our reputation as an innovation leader in this area. Now we are announcing a new reader with a 7.8 inch display. And so we made a very logical development in the field of e-readers. However, the general assessment of the color technology is still a little bit too early. After all, the market has just started, but it is very, very promising. We expect, uh, indeed, the peak there in three to five years when this technology has finally established itself. At the moment, we're not at the point where the quality is sufficient enough to replace black and white displays. So their existence continues to be justified. And the point in time when all e-readers on the market will have color displays is, of course, largely dependent on the future development of e-ink. Collado brings in many technical advancements to help make it a better product. First, it uses our latest Carta Series ink, while Triton uses Perl. This latest Carta Series ink is much faster in response rate and is almost 20 to 1 in contrast ratio, while Perl is only 12 to 1. Second, Collado leverages on advancements in LED technology. We are able to use low power LEDs and add a front light without sacrificing too much battery life. For consumers, Adding color benefits us in many ways. It lets us look at charts and graphs, book covers, and it just has a better overall experience in the bookstore. Just like with all of E-Ink's black and white displays, you get this added benefit of color without eye strain. E-Ink already launched the Kaleido technology one and a half years ago and our customers have always been asking for color devices. And, of course, as we listened to our customers' wishes, we accordingly brought a color device to the market. However, at the same time, digitalization also ensures that there is more and more illustrated content. That is to say, content with color illustrations. 
And there too it is, of course, the case that if this were in black and white, it would obviously be less attractive in one respect. But what is much more critical is that it is, of course, also less informative. And in this regard, we are obviously delighted that we can now also display this content very clearly in color. And it is ultimately also the case that when we received the first samples of e-ink, we were really amazed how high contrast these displays are now, how the saturation of the colors is appropriate, and also how bright the background can be. And the development combined with the customer needs that are there have simply allowed us to invest at this point. Yes, of course, we are still at the beginning of the development of these color displays, and obviously we are following the development of e-ink in this field very closely, and we'll certainly use these further developments in our devices in the future. While a 6-inch Kaleido product is widely accepted by consumers, we've heard your voices and challenged ourselves to make a much larger panel with visual performance suited for the size. The updated Kaleido panel uses a different printing pattern. This pattern allows us to balance color and print texture. This printing texture was sometimes a complaint amongst consumers. Next, we've improved our image rendering. This image rendering allows for much crisper text, especially when the text is not on the white background. Lastly, we've improved our front lights and guides. We've been able to match the color spectrum and minimize color bleeding from scattered light. The team worked hard to implement these improvements, which we hope contribute to a much better reading and color experience on the new 7.8 inch Lido product. During the development of the 7.8-inch device, we were, of course, primarily inspired by the success of the 6-inch device that we launched last year. And we were very, very surprised by the success. And in this regard, we now have a logical further development there. Originally, of course, the pocketbook color was intended to be the equivalent of a paperback book. However, we quickly came to the determination that color is not really all that important to the traditional reader who reads on the go, because content that is available in color often requires larger formats. So, of course, when I think of comics, children's books, nonfiction, cookery books, magazines, and so on, these mostly come in a larger format, and that is exactly what we have covered with the new device. In the first couple of weeks of sales of Pocketbook Color, customers were of course increasingly asking for a larger display exactly for the reasons I just mentioned, and so it was only a matter of time before we brought a device like this to the market. Already during the development phase of our device, e-ink was able to offer us an even higher contrasted, more color saturated and brighter display and obviously we incorporated this development into the new device. Both Triton and Kaleido use a color filter array or CFA to generate color over our black and white film. When Triton was developed, only glass-based CFAs were available. This involved putting a piece of glass into our existing displays. Kaleido, on the other hand, uses a printing process directly onto our films, allowing for a thinner and lighter device. With this thinner and lighter device, users are able to hold the book for longer periods of time while enjoying the benefits of e-reading. In addition to classic reading content, audio capabilities, among other things, are playing an increasingly important role in these devices, of course. In this respect, we have integrated six audio formats into our devices, including audiobook formats, and these devices are, of course, also equipped with Bluetooth, so that the devices can be connected to wireless headphones or a car radio in order to play the audiobooks or even listen to music. Many of our other top models have exactly the same audio features, of course, and customer feedback also naturally gives us information about our customer usage scenarios. 
So on the one hand, we have customers who really, really enjoy listening to audiobooks. That is another market that is growing very, very quickly, and we have integrated a professional audiobook player into our devices that makes it possible to play audiobooks in a suitably high quality and which is also very easy to use. Our cloud service enables, among other things, the synchronization of these audio files across all devices connected to this account. On the other hand, of course, we also have customers who really like listening to music, just as they would do with their smartphones. But many customers also listen to music while reading, because listening to music while reading actually promotes concentration and thus the comprehension of the text. Additionally, we have an audio function on board that is called text to speech. This is basically a function that allows the ebook to be read aloud to me. This is currently available in 16 languages, and Czech will soon be the next language to be added. On the one hand, this text to speak function makes it easier to learn foreign languages, and on the other hand, we have also had a very interesting project in Cologne, for example, where we have simply been helping children who have the reading and writing difficulty, which we know as dyslexia, to learn to read. So basically, with this feature, the word that is being read is underlined. And we also have a font on board our devices for people with dyslexia, a special font which is called Open Dyslexic, and the interaction of that font, of hearing the word and of the underlining of the word, makes it much, much easier for those children to actually learn to read. In addition, this font that we have on our devices enables people with dyslexia to have access to literature in the first place, because printed books are usually just not printed in this font at all. Furthermore, all of our premium devices have built-in Bluetooth so that it is, of course, also possible to use the audio features wirelessly, for example, in the car or even with wireless headphones. Our corporate values are obviously to listen to our customers' needs and, of course, we also like to keep up with the technical developments that are occurring on the market. And when I combine these two things, of course, it has simply allowed us to invest in the area of color displays at this point and also to be the first on the market with devices like these. In fact, customers naturally use eye-friendly and energy-efficient devices for reading, and in this respect, and with our technology, we are simply very much ahead of the tablets and smartphones in this world. A look at history, of course, also shows how the development of color unfolds in the market. Of course, when we think about televisions or even smartphones, there is obviously a clear trend of moving from monochrome displays to color displays. And watching this development in the market is, of course, very, very exciting.